So the lesson for today is comment your code. And it's the importance of comments. Um, and this is a big debate that people have. And quite a few of you that look at my videos, well, the majority, most of you love the comments. I do get a few people that complain about code comments and oh, why are you commenting uh, irrelevant things? Um, and I always say simply, one, I diffuse the, the situation by simply saying it's opinionated. Um, but two, I also put my opinion that I find comments are just as important as the code itself. And I want to really try and explain that and why I say that and where it's come from. Um, so I've been developing since I was 10 years old. I've been programming in C, C++, uh, C Sharp, every language in between that, game development, DirectX, Linux, Windows, Mac. I've, I've done a lot of development uh, throughout the course of my career. And until probably four or five years ago. I was like most developers with very few comments, if any, wanting the shortest possible code. Um, and then it comes to uh, you working in teams or you're progressing as a developer basically and you get past the challenges of software development and they're no longer a challenge and you're simply now doing your job. And now you want to improve on that. You want to clean up and make things nice and organized and um, you want to go back to code you wrote six months ago or two years ago and be able to understand it. And one of the biggest things you should find as a developer is you write code without comments. You come back to some code you wrote, say, two years ago, uh, and you basically have to reverse engineer everything. Um, and the simple point about comments is we don't speak code. We speak English or whatever language you speak. And that's how we talk. That's how we read. That's how we communicate. That's how we think in our minds. So if we want to understand code, and ultimately code is like a story, it's telling a story, it's telling you what it's going to do. There's ifs, else, whiles, trues, there's logic, but it's a logical progression of statements. And those statements really should be written in your native language so that you can simply reread your code like you're reading a book. Um, you take your code and a co-worker or a friend wants to understand what your code does, you're going to talk to them in English or, again, your native language. You're going to say, uh, well, this if statement checks if I have a file on my system and if the file's there, I want to uh, delete it. If it's not there, I want to create it and do something with it. You speak this way. So in your code, why are you not writing those comments in a nice logical order that steps through the code? Um, and that's exactly what I do with my code. I treat every line of code as something I shouldn't have to read to understand. I read the comment above the code. Uh, so that I can read through my code that says, you know, my entry point is here, it comes in here, it does this, it does that. Um, and also to take it that step further and to comment all of your functions and namespaces. Uh, the main benefit to commenting the functions and namespaces and main chunks of code that you will find out potentially in the future or you may never use, but say you now come to make a library, like I've made the DNA framework library, and you want to provide that as a NuGet package, or you want to share that internally, or you want to provide it to somebody that isn't you, which is ultimately where your software will go when it grows. And those comments will naturally be exported to um, NuGet if you're going to upload it to NuGet if you generate the XML comments, or you can generate an MSDN style website instantly from your code comments, uh, which means now developers can follow your code much easier. Um, in Visual Studio, you'll have IntelliSense on your code, so when you do dot and then the name of one of your functions, it will give you a nice comment just like the Microsoft code does. So the advice really here, as much as most developers don't want to comment because it's it's hard work, if you will, it's extra typing, it's things like that. You should really appreciate um, the comments and you should be able to read your code like a book. And you should also be able to pass this code off to somebody that knows nothing about your code that can follow it. Um, and that's what I really strive to do with my comments. Um, and the funny thing, again, about uh, developers and online blogs and online comments and people that know things that try to teach um, is, as I mentioned, it's very opinionated um, to the point where there's big articles out there. And I say big, simply articles that have been written by somebody that's got a lot of views and a lot of interest um, around literally comment nothing. Um, and I couldn't agree more. Uh, sorry, you couldn't disagree more with um, those kind of comments and the points they make are also very um, telling of a, a bad developer, of a lazy developer. And that's one thing you can't be in code, you can't be lazy. 
Um, and basically the key points to not comment your code are things like developers never maintain the comments and developers never read comments and um, all these kind of comments are in my eyes big red flags because I certainly don't do those things. It's not it's not that developers don't comment and don't read. Lazy developers don't comment and don't read. If you've got pride in your work and you want your code to be the best it is and you want to provide it to other people or you want to create a library, you need those comments. Um, and if we flip that on its head a minute as well and say, well, what's the point in not commenting? What's the what's the issue with typing that bit more code or the bit more, you know, typing on your keyboard a bit more, basically? There's no, no downside to it. Um, the only issue I had before I was commenting is I was very clinical. I wanted my font on my computer to be as small as I could possibly read. And I wanted the code to be crushed into a single file because I kind of wanted this self-contained package. Um, and you just have to break away from that because that's something that's, it's not maintainable, it's not expandable, it's not legible when you come back to using it. Um, so get away from the fear of adding lots of comments, get away from the fear of creating lots of files, um, which will be another topic I'll talk about. But uh, the point of this video really is to emphasize my, um, my point of how important comments are. And hopefully with the few statements I've made here, uh, you might, you know, you'll appreciate why comments are important. And as always, as I say, it's, it's an opinionated opinion. Uh, so any comments or questions about this or your thoughts on comments, uh, you know, leave them in the video.